All right, we got one more video for you guys with FSD 14.1 before we decide to call it a rest for the night. I wanted to see how FSD 14 performed on the highway, so let's go do a little highway test. So we're in a parking garage right now. We're gonna have it exit the parking garage, navigate city streets, get on the highway, change from one highway to another, exit, get to the destination, and then park there. There's the exit for the parking garage. It's a little bit tight. But it is able to weasel its way through there and make it out. Very nicely done. And now we're headed over to the street. going to make a right turn onto Olympic Boulevard, stopping at the stop sign here. And we're making an immediate left turn at Cotner Avenue. Moving along here, and next we're going to make a left turn at Santa Monica Boulevard in half a mile. Got a stop sign here. Nice smooth stop. Here we go. Looks like we got a door that's open, maybe someone getting into it, and the car offset nicely. Looks like we've got a guy with two dogs and a bike walking across the street, and the car avoided him nicely. Seems like we were driving through kind of a homeless encampment area. And now here's where we need to turn left. We need to get in the far left lane, or at least the one next to it, to be able to make a left turn. And the car was able to do that successfully in time, making it all the way over to the far left lane. Now we're gonna wanna get on the 405 South which means we're going to take a left on the Santa Monica Boulevard and uh, then get on the 405 South through the entrance there. All right, we got the green light. Let's make a left turn. And now we've got another traffic light. And here we go. Let's see how FSD 14 performs on the highway. Is it going to be any different, any better, any worse? Oh, looks like it almost went the wrong way and didn't take the freeway exit, but was able to correct itself at the last minute. All right, we're merging onto the highway. Feels like it's merging in and accelerating much quicker than before, which feels kind of nice. And we've merged onto the highway. Very nicely done. Looks like we're in the correct lane here. Change over to the 10 east, which is the direction we need to head. And there we go, we're taking the exit for the 10 east. Very nice. 
and now we're merging onto the 10 East along with some other vehicles. You can feel it slowing down ever so slightly as it sees that big truck. It's taking precautions in case it wants to merge in. And now it's entering the 10 East, driving in the middle lane. Very nice. It's not getting all the way over to the left like I feel like 13 would have done. Probably because it knows it has to exit in about a mile. Driving at a nice speed of 78, which is about what I would be driving as a human here. Now it looks like it's getting ready to exit the freeway. We're going to be taking the Robertson Boulevard exit. It waited for that car to pass before moving over. It moved over very gracefully. go we took the exit nice smooth perfect highway drive there looks like it is in the wrong lane here it needed to turn left, but it's in the right turn lane. But it looks like it's going to try and turn left anyway. Alright, we've got the left turn arrow. And it's going to go ahead and make that left turn, even though it was in the incorrect lane. Probably thought that that was a left turn lane too. We hit the camera button at the top. Alright, here's our destination. It's pulling in. And let's see if it's able to find a parking spot. Looks like it found a spot. And we're parked right in the lines. So that was pretty amazing. You saw it navigate a parking garage, exit the parking garage, navigate city streets, highways, highway interchanges, exit the highway, get into the destination parking lot and park from one spot to another. I didn't touch the wheel or pedals at all. This is what's possible with FSD 14.1. So that's it for our first few videos. We'll definitely do some more testing in the daytime and let you know how it works. Thanks for watching.